for more insight, let's speak with Dr. Lim Taiwei, Adjunct Senior Research Fellow with the East Asian Institute at the National University of Singapore. He joins us this morning from Tokyo. Uh, Taiwei, Putin's war hasn't gone as he had planned. Russia is facing unprecedented sanctions, and the International Criminal Court has just issued an arrest warrant for war crimes with Putin's name on it. He needs a friend, doesn't he? Well, uh, the uh, optics uh, may not be uh, so uh, positive from the perspective of the West, uh, given that uh, there is a uh, sort of arrest uh, warrant uh, that is put out there. Uh, so I think uh, from the Western perspective, uh, perhaps the uh, visit uh, may uh, sort of co the, the fact that it coincided uh, with this uh, development uh, may sort of detract uh, the uh, visit from uh, its uh, sort of uh, uh, positive uh, optics. So it remains to be seen uh, what will transpire uh, in terms of uh, imp implementation after the ICC uh, ruling. Uh, and uh, I think many uh, observers are also observing uh, what is going to happen during uh, the uh, meeting itself between the two leaders, what sort of uh, uh, specific uh, plans they have, uh, particularly with uh, regards to the peace plan that's uh, being uh, sort of uh, proposed by uh, China, which... Uh, uh, President Putin appears uh, to be uh, conducive in uh, discussing it. On Beijing, on the Beijing-Moscow relationship, White House spokesman John Kirby says it's a bit of a marriage of convenience, less than it is of affection. Uh, what are your thoughts and what does China get out of its relationship with Russia? Well, uh, theoretically, uh, the uh, Chinese uh, do not... Uh, at, in, in accordance with their own thinking, uh, engage in uh, alliances. Uh, so that's why uh, some observers uh, may say that uh, it is a, a, you know, a marriage of uh, convenience. Uh, however, the uh, details are not out yet. Yesterday, we saw a one-to-one -one meeting uh, between the two leaders, but today uh, they will actually sit down to uh, hammer out uh, what uh, kind of agendas they have uh, in a uh, closed-door session. Uh, and I think many uh, observers would actually like uh, to be in that room uh, to listen to the uh, specifics uh, when it comes to the discussion. But of course, uh, this would not be possible. So uh, I think uh, many in the West are waiting uh, for any kinds of announcements of what uh, kind of features were discussed and, uh, you know, and react accordingly. Yeah, as you mentioned, those formal talks between the two uh, leaders are scheduled for today. Uh, what sort of topics or ground do you expect them to cover? Well, uh, definitely, I think uh, right in the uh, forefront uh, would be the discussion on the uh, the peace plan uh, that China uh, purports uh, to uh, bring to the table, which, uh, according to the media at the moment, uh, President Putin is uh, willing to uh, discuss. Uh, the It is vague on details, but we do know that they have a 12-point uh, peace plan which uh, the uh, West uh, has a critique uh, as being broad in outline uh, and lacking in details. And so I think uh, many will be watching uh, the actual details uh, of the discussion and uh, what sort of uh, uh, ceasefire, if any, uh, will be uh, shaped up by the uh, talk between the two leaders. Well, just prior to the war, a joint statement from China and Russia heralded their No Limits partnership but China has limits, doesn't it? it? Will it provide weapons and lethal aid to Russia, as the U.S. is saying it is considering? Uh, currently, at this moment, uh, there appears to be no major uh, sort of uh, evidence and indication that it is providing lethal aid uh, at this moment. And so I think the intelligence agencies uh, in the West uh, are watching it very closely, uh, particularly uh, some. Uh, within the West are uh, talking about uh, monitoring a uh, third party's involvement. So uh, at this moment, it remains uh, sort of uh, uh, not the case uh, that uh, China has uh, uh, forwarded lethal aid, although uh, the uh, White House has insisted that uh, they are, the Chinese are considering it uh, at the moment, which the Chinese denied. Now, Ukraine is watching closely. What will they be making of China's close ties to Russia and a peace plan that seemingly doesn't involve their input? Well, uh, according to reports, uh, President Xi will make a phone call uh, with uh, President Zelensky uh, kind of end of this week. And uh, President Zelensky has publicly and repeatedly said that uh, he wants to present 
uh, Ukraine's uh, version uh, of the war to the Chinese to let them know about uh, their version or their thinking uh, on the war itself. This is something very much encouraged uh, by the White House, uh, who also urged the uh, Chinese leader uh, to listen uh, to uh, Zelensky, President Zelensky's uh, version uh, of the war. Uh, so I think uh, this development will probably take place uh, since uh, the Chinese have uh, taken up uh, the uh, role of uh, mediator uh, in uh, the uh, in a very complex uh, war situation. And just quickly, what are you watching out for from the talks that will tell us what's in store for this ongoing conflict? Well, uh, three things. Uh, the uh, terms of the ceasefire, if any, and uh, the uh, retention of uh, territories on both sides, how it will be apportioned. Uh, and thirdly, uh, uh, the um, sort of promise uh, that uh, President Putin uh, presents uh, to President Xi, if any. So these three items are being, being watched uh, and anticipated very closely uh, by observers on all sides. All right, thanks very much for your time this morning. Dr. Lim Tai Wei from the East Asian Institute at NUS.